Hello, I'm doing a cute oh, turn that down. Yeah. I'm gonna do a cute quick quick. I can't, I don't know why I can't say that. It's like quick, quick. Okay, I can say it now. I'm gonna do a quick QA right now. It's about the um, well Elizabeth still on that watches this still her question about oh did I just put something out? I don't know. I just had salmon so just, ah, okay. Got a little bit sunburn on my legs, but it's awesome. Um it's about like awkward relationships and if it's getting weird or anything. The thing about awkward rela relations, uh, my tongue is getting numb today. I'm not even kidding. <sighs> okay. Awkward relationships and if it's getting weird or anything, you should be able to talk to them. If you can't really talk to them, it's not really going to be a good relationship. Only if you can like be able to text them because most of the things you text them, you can't really tell them in real life, like actually tell them because you don't have to actually face them and actually look into their eyes and say it because most of the time you'd be like, oh, I love you. But in real life, it's going to be like, hi, I love you. And we all looking down and you, you can't really look at them into their eye and that's not really a good idea and stuff because... It's not a good relationship if you can't talk to each other. That's one of the reasons why I ended my relationship because he wasn't right for me. So I just decided to end it then. And so I'm sorry. I think I have like ADD or something. And I used to have a weird relationship. We never spoke to each other at all. It was like from second grade to, I'm sorry, second grade. Yes. Awesome, right? Second grade to about the beginning of... The middle of fifth grade. Okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> I can't remember really good. Um, to so like the middle of fifth grade, and it we we never spoke to each other. We saw each other in the hallway. We would be like kind of smiling, but towards the end, we didn't smile at each other because I knew that he was cheating on me, and it just got kind of jumbled up. I knew who he was cheating on me with, and it wasn't good because I they were my friends and they're. They're my best friends, and now they're not, because they were dating my boyfriend, and they call, it's, it's not fun, I don't know why, I like these, um, but the, still, the weird relationships, it's not gonna be a good relationship, it's not gonna be something that you're gonna be wanting, because if it's gonna be weird, nothing good is gonna come out of it, because it's just gonna be like, oh, hey, yeah, it's gonna be, time wasted because you weren't able to actually connect with them and stuff like that so i know i'm a professional yeah no okay because it's not at all just just me on that either end it or start trying to communicate even though if you want to start the conversation don't be like a stage five clinger because that's what solomon was but a stage five clinger is whenever um you, you text them and it's like hey what are you doing and you don't text back and it's just like okay i'm busy right now i can't text them right now so i'll just leave it alone and you can tell that they read it. it's like why aren't you texting me back it'll that's like a stage five clinger because you'll constantly be either texting them even whenever they don't want to text you back because they're either busy or they just don't feel like it like they're either tired or like not in a good mood right now right then and there so it's not gonna be very fun I don't know <laughs> fun or anything because the, not, you're not gonna get anything out of it unless all you guys do is kiss and hug and stuff like that it's that's if that's all you're getting out of it then that's not a very good relationship because he might just be dating you just to get the attention of other girls so he can just ditch on you anytime and go with someone else that may be the um the problem right there but if you no, it's not, and you just want to believe that it's not, then just try to communicate more, and I don't really know what else to say, because lots of those two of my relationships ended like that, because the first one, first of all, he was cheating on me since the, the beginning of fourth grade, yeah, awesome, right, and um, with that, he was cheating on me, we weren't communicating, we never even kissed once, and I actually have kissed him, but that's a different story. And um, with Solomon, he, we never really spoke. He would all he would talk about was him. It was either oh, guess what? I want to get to have like oh, no. and I tried to like get a conversation starting with him. He's like oh yeah, and uh, yeah, whatever. Guess what? I'm like, oh my God, shut up. And he keeps trying to text me and everything. Be like, hey, what are you doing? I'm like, go away. I don't want to talk to you. 
because he that if I try to get a conversation setting with him, it'll only be about him. And if that's the problem, like it's weird and only he wants to talk about himself, it's not gonna work out because it's just gonna be all about him, what he wants. And if he wants to have sex and you don't, then he'll rape you probably. I don't know, but you have to try to communicate. Be the one that steps up and he sees that like oh you you want to start doing that he actually realized that it try not to be weird or anything which is kind of hard to notice but 